So to navigate to the inventory management system, we need to hover on this facility tab and then click on inventory management. So here we basically have two main things. That's the inventory manager and this table. This table contains the list of all the items that are present on the platform. So uh, it shows the name of the item, the code, the type of the item, the stock and the status of that item. So we can filter these items based on their type like it can be a medicine, it can be a patient consumable, site consumable, a reagent and it can be an asset. And basically we can also search the item from the search tab. Like we can search Grosin and we'll be having the list and we get the result. So basically we can see here uh, it's mentioned as critical power level. So if you want to filter on the status then we can use this tab and we can click on this critical power level. So it will only show us the items that are that are near the critical power level. All of these items. So this is the list and then moving on to the item manager like basically this action tab we have multiple functions so if this search items field is empty then allows us to create an item or multi invert it so let's create an item let us call the item as demo internal code can be demo so basically the type can be anything like it can be a medicine it can be a patient consumable uh, so it can be site consumable so uh, for example a patient consumable can be a mask site consumable can be uh, a towel or a bed sheet then we have this reagents for lab then an asset for example the desktop or a laptop and then we can choose other so now let us add a medicine so here we can enter the CGST IGST and the power level like if uh, it goes up below power level then we can have a notification or we can show it as a red status so it needs to be re refilled so we can enter the power level as 5 and so we can also enter the critical power level that can like if the items go below critical power level then they need to be immediately refilled so let me mention the critical power level as 2 then we can add the minimum maximum temperature like if it's a medicine and it needs to be stored under a specific temperature we can add those things here then we can add the measurement of the medicine so med measurement can be of any type like it can be a tablet capsule a cream eye drop jelly a soap a liquid a powder or if we want we can directly measure it uh, in kg gram liter as in raw item like if it's something that cannot be measured but as in single quantity we can click this raw item so now let us add it as in tablet so here we can add the medicine composition like then the medicines generic name uh, now let me give it as Then the tablets form like it can be same as the measurement uh, like if we have choose it as tablet then we can mention it as tablet here and if we have choose it as in kg then we can specify the medicines form he here as well like it's in kg measurement is in kg but uh, the medicines form is as a tablet then we can also specify this uh, scheduling type like if 
the medicine needs a prescription then it can be uh, mentioned as h1 type and if the medicine does not require any prescription then it can be mentioned as h type so we can fill in the details here and then we have this package type like for a raw item like for a single package capacity will be one what will be the selling price so the selling price we enter here that will be inclusive of gst so we can mention it as 10 the outsource price can be also mention it as like let us mention it as 10 for now and the cghs price also can be 10 for now if we want to add another package type then we can click on this and we can add it like if you want to add a stripe stripe of medicines so uh, a stripe contains total of six medicines then we can mention six here then we can mention the price for a stripe like 50 rupees and if you want to add another box so a box of medicine which contains around 30 medicines and it it's priced around 150 rupees so even that can be added here so once we are done with filling in the details we need to click on this create new item once we do that the inventory item has been created successfully and it's been added to the list so if we want we can search the item directly from here now it's pre-populated so here if we have if we click on this so yeah items listed here we can click on it and then the actions that we can perform are invert outward audit prices stocks and edit so if we are uh, inverting the item so we can click on this invert tab so let us do an invert we can select the vendor and we can enter the batch number the lot number the invoice number that the vendor has provided us the manufacturing date and the expiry date so we can select the package type like if we are inverting a raw item a stripe of it or a box of it so the price will be updated accordingly okay so we can enter the package quantity like how many stripes are we inverting so if i enter 10 here so a stripe contains six medicines so 10 stripes will be containing total of 60 quantity and we can enter the uh, how many free quantity if we are receiving any from the vendor like if i am receiving five stripes for free then the total will be 90 90 medicines and i can enter the cost per package like it's around 48 rupees for me the vendor is giving me a discount of 5 percent and the gst is 18 percent so the total cost here is 538 rupees and then we can click on add item to the stock so once we do that our item has been inverted and it's been added to the stock so we can search that current item again so after i do that so now i have the option of now let me perform an edit on it so i had earlier added the item but now i wanted to change the item selling price to 11 rupees i can do that And yeah, the items price has been up updated. Now we can search that item again. And now let us perform an audit. So in this audit tab, we get to see all of the actions that have been performed, whether that's an inward action, the outward action. And we can also make a note on it, like if if it needs improvement and
we can add a note and we can click on save audit so if we do that for that particular item in audit we can see this list where we had inverted 90 quantity of this medicines and the batch number was this and after that someone has performed like it was performed by the admin because I have logged in using the admin account and the action was audit and the audit note was there need, there are some broken medicines so after seeing this if anyone wants they can click on this outward from here then they can update the quantity like how many medicines were broken which need to be thrown off so they can select that here they can enter the quantity as 10 medicines so there are total 19 stock the 10 were broken so we can wastage we can select the outward type as wasted we can add a note and we can click on outward item once we do that that it has been updated in the list so now in the audit we can see that uh, first we had inverted 90 medicines then uh, there was an audit where it was mentioned as some medicines are broken and then we have outwarded 10 medicines as wastage because they were broken so the audit can be seen here then we have this prices list where we can we have this price manager the total stock left is 80, 80 and if we want we can perform this we can click on this actions and we can the package is listed here we can update the package from here we can update the price of the package from here then we have this stocks so in this stocks we are able to see all the stocks that are available from different vendors and with different batch numbers and we can also click on this actions and edit the stock.